Like many Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, and other standard size trading card game players, I have always been frustrated with how nearly every brand of illustrated art sleeves often have a horrible shuffle feel and don't hold up long. That's why sleeve covers are around to protect your illustrated art sleeves, and to provide a superior shuffling experience. This video will compare and contrast the KMC Character Guard gold and silver border outer sleeves, the famous broccoli sleeves, both the clear and glazed styles, and also the brand new KMC Hypermat clear cover sleeves, which claim to provide Hypermat quality and feel while still showing off your artwork through a transparent back. Let's take a look. We'll begin with the KMC Character Guard Gold Sleeves. These are probably some of the most recognizable cover sleeves due to their distinctive gold border, which creates a frame around your artwork. KMC also offers a silver border style of these. Except for the frame on the back, the Character Guard sleeves are transparent and glossy and fit comfortably around any standard sized sleeved card. The gold border provides an interesting visual accompaniment to your artwork, but whether or not you enjoy such adornment is really a matter of personal taste. The shuffle feel is very good, and it feels akin to a double sleeve deck that is using glossy sleeves as the outer sleeve. And that by itself is a vast improvement to the majority of illustrated art sleeves. And of course, your artwork and sleeve is protected from scratching, ripping, and peeling. A deck sleeved in the character guard sleeves is almost identical in size to a deck double sleeved in perfect fits and hypermats, if only slightly larger. Pros. Fits standard size sleeves perfectly provides above average shuffle feel for the covered sleeves. Durable and not prone to ripping or splitting. Cons. Illustrated border may not be welcome by all players. Grade. Solid B. You can't go wrong with KMC character guards. Although I do wonder if there's a superior experience out there. Cost? Well, these are import only from Japan and tend to go for approximately $6.99 US per package of 60. But that price will of course vary. Now let's look at the famous broccoli outer sleeves. Broccoli sleeves don't have any English on their packaging, which often makes them very difficult to order since you might not always know what you are getting. To purchase the sleeve covers, make sure you are purchasing the medium medium size. Of the mediums, there are two major styles, labeled CSP03 and CSP05. CSP03 has a glazed front and back. Note, although I have seen some stores list this as matte back, it is much more akin to the glazed front of sleeves like the KMC Premiums or Ultra Pro Pro Mats. In other words, a smooth anti-glare glaze, but not at all stipled or textured like hyper matte sleeves. The CSP05 has only one side glazed, meaning you can have a clear front and glazed back or vice versa. Broccoli also manufactures a large size, but this is actually significantly larger. Well, it doesn't look it, but I assure you that that is quite a difference, and it makes it ultimately too loose for shuffling effectively, at least for standard-sized card games like Magic and Pokemon. Here's the CSP05 with the clear size facing forward and the glaze on the back. Notice that the glaze does not terribly diminish the artwork. Unfortunately, the shuffle feel is atrocious. In fact, there really is no shuffle feel as the CSP05, thanks to having one side with no glaze, has zero slip and zero slide, making mass shuffling impossibly uncomfortable. I have to really, really push and force these cards down each time, and this does not go away with use. The broccoli sleeves are also exceptionally thick, and a fully sleeved 60 card deck with covers feels akin to a double sleeve commander deck, and that too adds to the shuffling woes. For your reference, here they are side by side, and you can see the glazed effect is very subtle. In fact, I feel it's hard to notice on camera, and only a little more obvious when viewed in person. 
Pros. Provides average shuffle feel to covered sleeves, but we're talking about the CSP03 here. Both are durable and not prone to ripping or splitting. Cons. Some slightly larger sleeves will not be covered by the medium size. The CSP05 has an unacceptable shuffle feel. Terrible. And these extremely thick outer sleeves make sleeved decks exceptionally large. Grade. The CSP03 by Broccoli is good, but not great. C+. The CSP05, however, is a D due to it being unacceptable for Magic and Pokemon players, given their shuffling needs. Broccoli sleeves are import only and not readily available online, so cost on these varies too dramatically for me to even mention a price. They are quite hard to get a hold of in the United States, at least. Next up is something I did not even think was possible, the KMC Character Sleeve Guard Matte and Clear series. These boast, and in English no less, Hyper Matte Type with a clear face and matte emboss for the back. But can a clear sleeve really offer a hyper matte texture? And will the outer sleeve comfortably cover your illustrated art and other standard size sleeves? In a word, yes. In two words, exceptionally so. The front of the sleeve is clear and the back is very slightly frosted. It has the hyper matte texture and is a little more opaque than the broccoli glazed sleeves, but only slightly so. The back has a near identical texture to the KMC hyper matte back and artwork is still visible when sleeved, if only slightly diminished. The shuffle feel is almost identical to Hypermats. If I were blindfolded, I might not even be able to tell the difference. At last, my collectors or special event or just plain preferred artwork sleeves can essentially be transformed into KMC Hypermats, protecting my artwork and providing an excellent shuffle experience. Here, for you to compare, is artwork seen through all three sleeve types that we have looked at in this video. You'll see that artwork through the matte and clear sleeves is still very visible, although it does have the most opaqueness of any of the three. A deck sleeved in the matte and clear is almost identical in size to a deck double sleeved in perfect fits and hyper mats, if only slightly larger. One unfortunate problem, probably due to the special texture of the back, is that it is possible for these sleeves to become visibly marked, but only in special circumstances of mishandling. By no means are these as atrocious as the KMC Silky Sleeves, which will become marked and scratched with only a feather touch. I can run my fingernail along the backs of these and there won't be a problem, but if I push down and bend and, well, crease these outer sleeves, then yes, there is a permanent and visible mark that is left. So if you're unsleeving using the Matten Clears, make sure you do so the proper way and not the sloppy way that, ironically, I am in a habit of doing. Pros. Well, the first one's obvious. It gives an illustrated art or any interior sleeve a shuffle feel nearly identical to that of KMC Hypermats, while still providing a transparent back to view the covered sleeves back. Fits all standard size sleeves perfectly, durable, and not prone to ripping or splitting. The only con is that, yes, the back can become noticeably marked if improperly handled, but this is largely just if you crease it when sleeving and unsleeving. Grade A minus. This is my outer sleeve of choice, currently the best I know of on the market. These are also imported only from Japan, but luckily there seems to be a plentiful enough supply in the US, and they tend to go for approximately $6.99 per package of 60. I hope very much this video has been of some help to you. Remember to check out my playlists of reviews on card sleeves, deck boxes, binders, and more by clicking on the appropriate thumbnail. Thumbnails now work on mobile. And remember, you can help me out over at Patreon, where your support keeps this channel going and growing strong. I could not do this without you. So thank you.